Welcome to the Chat Cafe, where real students keep it 100 with topics. I'm Omar Rashid, and today we're here to get the inside scoop on receiving good grades while also having fun when you're young. It's that time of year again. Everyone has their on their best outfits. We're all setting unrealistic goals to get a 4.0 this quarter. Pretty exciting, right? So what are some of the goals you set for yourself at the beginning of this year? One goal I set for myself was my attendance because now in Pikesville, it's really important to get your lateness and absences up because you can't attend certain events if you don't. Like so, homecoming? Yeah, yeah. homecoming, winter formal. I think it's a basketball Basketball game? tournament, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like you can only have two latenesses, anything more, or like one absence, something like that. So one goal that I set was managing my time better. like. Take, um, doing sports and taking AP classes, that can get pretty overwhelming. So I have to like, as soon as I get home from practice, just get my work done out of the way and then like take a nap and eat. Just like get my work done so I don't like procrastinate too much, you know? Well, something I wanted to work on was to make sure I didn't get senioritis because I know a lot of colleges, they look at your senior grades as well. So I don't want those to slack and then they might rescind any offers or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I decided to be much more organized this year, um, staying on, ta on, on top of my stuff, having all my papers in the right section of my binder. Because yeah. I remember last year, I yeah. could not find anything. <laughs> yeah. I decided to get my own college applications in early. That way I can get receive the acceptance or not acceptance letters earlier so I can find out where I'm going and be prepared for the future. That's cool. What schools are you looking into? Um, I like Towson, Maryland, Salisbury, USC. Mm -hmm. So when you find yourself slipping, how do you deal with it to get back on track? So one like tip that I've been told and like that I found find really useful is going to your teachers like whenever you're like slacking on a couple assignments like just going to them talking to them like just going using your resources the best that you can. Well, I like to use my friends, like mainly with my own personal issues because they can help me in different ways. So even if it's like just a call or text, just to make sure I have my stuff done or like tell them, make sure they have their stuff done, it's really beneficial for both of us. Since I am an AVID student, AVID helps me um, stay on top of my things. Mm -hmm. We have to have planners, so I write everything down in there. So if I think I miss something, I look into my planner see if, if it's in there and check it off if I did it or come back to it um, and do it as soon as possible and having an AVID binder. Mm -hmm. yeah. And to add on to that, I think in AVID we need to have a study buddy. So like Tanaya yeah. said, having a friend so you have a specific person you can call or text so like if you missed or anything or if you don't understand something. Yeah, they're there and not only that, it's because like there, you can call them, you can text them. You can also have, it's also like a handshake form mm -hmm. that Evan offers. So like you have to introduce yourself to your teacher, mainly so they know that you're in Evan, your name, and request to sit in the front of the class so you yeah. can pay attention. Like it's easy and it's also good. Like if you don't have, if you didn't know this teacher before you finally had them, it's really nice. And to add on to like your friends, like you use friends in Evan, I feel like if you're ever slipping, like, you should probably check like yourself like who are you surrounding yourself with like mm -hmm. is the group I'm with like helping me like get better at my grades or are they kind of like holding me back a little bit and then you have to like think like what can I do to better myself to get back on track. I like to uh, try to write down the work I have to do or sometimes if I have homework I'll like write HW on it just so I remember it's homework so I can yeah. get it all done and not forget about it. Either. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, to go off what Kennedy said, you should definitely like try to go. I like to go to coach class as much as possible because not only can you get help with your work, but you can also help build a relationship with teachers, which can mm -hmm. present opportunities in the future. Yeah, definitely. I feel like building up a good relationship with your teachers like goes a long way in like yeah. every yeah. type of way. Right. Now at um, Carver, we also have like we have time during the day we can go to coach class, so it makes it easier to go to coach class. Oh. So you, there's really no excuse not That's to. Really nice. Yeah, because a lot of your time wisely. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the excuses like oh I have stuff to do after school, but if you have that time. Right. That yeah. could be useful. But to add about the writing homework thing down in the planners, I love my planner. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like, first, Evan introduced it to me, but I really like it because you color coordinate it. Like, anything that's homework is in blue, anything that's like classwork due mm -hmm. is in green. Like, it just keeps me organized with everything. Everything. Yes. Yeah. So, what is the dress code like in your schools? Like, I know with this generation, clothes are seeming to be less. Like, how does the administration respond mm -hmm. to that? 
Well, at Carver, like we are very, I mean, we're an art school, so we're known for like expressing ourselves. So our students like at Carver, they like use that, that chance mm -hmm. of dressing like how they want to express themselves. And our administration is pretty like mm -hmm. open to that and accepting of that. Well, yeah, Pikesville, I think they're a little more relaxed because we don't, they're not as strict as with the clothing policy, but obviously don't wear anything ridiculous because they're gonna like, get you with the dress code. Yeah, right. nothing inappropriate that says like bad words or any bad symbols. Right. But they're very relaxed about too it. Too revealing. Yeah. 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 Like, don't I feel like they won't stick. come track you down, but if like if they see you walking by and it's like a lot, then they might say right. something to you. Yeah. yeah. So when do you notice a shift in dress code? Like, meaning the outfits get lazier, no more effort is put into them. What is it like? Second week of school. Second week of school. Yeah. Like, mm. second week, of, like first week. I know A day B day. That's more dress up. The next A day, really sweats. Right. But like, yeah. if you like want to do the first two days of school, yes, like, like okay, these are my new up. shoes that I got over the summer. But yeah, like if you want to dress up for that week. Guaranteed by then the second week of school, you're done. You're, you're done. Right. Like, yeah. cause no sweats, one, yeah. Like, probably won't do your hair. Like, I like them crop. Crop. <laughs> cause honestly, crop. everyone knows like we're here to get our work done, talk to our friends, you know. But mo and, like that's really all we're here for. Like, we all know what we look like. There's no one. I feel like it's the freshmen that end up yeah. dressing up yeah. a little yeah. longer. Mm -hmm. cause I think senior year, people don't really try because everyone knows each other exactly. and yeah. there's nothing. To We're prove. like a family by the end of senior yeah. year, honestly. Yeah, like, the, like, I work with the freshmen for like Evid tutors, so it's like a way of period where you can work with different grade levels right. and assist in a class. I think you have it too. Yeah, I'm an Avid tutor. Yeah, too. but I have it with the freshmen and the freshmen are still dressing up. Like, yeah. It's adorable. Like, <laughs> All week, and this is the second week. They're still giving it their all, like their effort. And I I'm think just, it's coded. yes, color coded. Like it has to match. Like one girl was the talking shoe. about her nails had to match her set, and I was like, I just think well, that was pretty. Yeah, <laughs> I think like when it starts getting colder, like towards the winter, a lot of people start dressing down. Like they'll start wearing baggier clothes. It's like a lot more hoodies, sweats. Second that, like I feel like it's cool that we can like be accepting of that, like so that no one's like going out of the way to buy stuff, like to prove something to someone. You know, we're all like pretty yeah. accepting. Like you want to wear sweatpants, go ahead and wear sweatpants. You know, exactly. We should appreciate the messy buns. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Just come comfortable. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, but like, what do you think, mm -hmm. like, about the comfortability in the winter? Do you think that's when it really shifts, or yeah. throughout? Definitely. Because I, mean, I feel like, like even you said, after the second week, but yeah, yeah. Like, not even well, winter, everybody's well, wearing sweatpants, yeah. hoodies. Because even if you try in the winter, there's there's not much you can really exactly. wear. Like a yeah. hoodie is at Jeez. most. And yeah. sometimes the classrooms are freezing cold. Like yeah. all you yeah. can wear is yes. cool. yeah. the yeah. At Carver Center, I think even in the summer, fall, whatever season, it's always cold. Exactly. So you kind of got to keep a sweatshirt. Last year, I even brought a blanket to school. <laughs> like, Same. <laughs> Tanaya does that I a lot. Did that, yeah. And I have this big oversized hoodie. First, right. it's a man's hoodie, but like that's made it even better and it's like so big it's like a long dress and i just <laughs> wear it and it's like a hoodie and it's it's bright orange and it's just like and i have like a scarf to match it like when i don't lay down yeah. my edges yeah, all of my hoodies are and oversized. like you just wear it like oversized and it's just that's like my go-to fit and i got like three of them now i, I didn't i like it i changed the colors and everything i like it what kind of punishments <laughs> are put in place when your grades fall when you're like in a team or a club, like what are the consequences? And Evan is Evan probation. Basically, your grade has to stand at a certain level. They teachers talk a lot about if they're like, if you're slipping in that class, and they'll let your Evan person know. Mainly Miss Lev, Miss Lebrice also. She's like the head, so she really takes that. She really thinks that's important to keep your grades up. Yeah, Mainly definitely. if she knows your goal. Like if your goal is to go somewhere like college or trade school or like anything after high school, she know what you're trying to do, so she knows like what you need to do to keep Get it there. there. Yeah. Yeah, I know for sports that they make you keep at least a C average okay. and you're not allowed to have two E's. You shouldn't really be getting that anyways, but uh, once you get your grades that low, then you'll be removed from the team. That's really just to help you from maybe sports is distracting you. And when you get home from sports, you just like want to go to sleep or eat and, mm -hmm. and you neglect your own work. To add on to that, a girl on the field hockey team at Carver, she actually couldn't play on the like this season because of her grades from last 
year's fourth quarter. Like, yeah. it was just she slipped too much, and, like, the coach was like, you can't be on the team. You know, you have to be a student athlete. Like, your grades come first, student, and then focus on the sports. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing there's probation because Definitely. if it, if you really like the sport, then it will push you. you. Right. It will mm -hmm. push you to do your work. Yeah. yeah. I just like that it just shows, like, some people might, like, oh, my gosh, like, they really told me I can't do it. Mm -hmm. But I think it's important because it shows that they care. Like, they care about your future. Like, they yeah. care that you're doing well. Like, you could be such an amazing whatever you play. Yeah. Like, but it's just something really good if you can actually have both of those things, like yeah. academics. And I think, yeah, go on. If you're trying to, like, if you're serious about a sport, too, and maybe you're trying to get scholarships, if yeah. you have below yeah, a 2.0, that's not, that's it's really not, not happening happen. anyway. So mm -hmm. yeah. you really yeah. have to have above the two if you're that serious yeah. about it. And discipline, too. I'm pretty sure if you get suspended around the end of the quarter, you can't play you next can't year. Yeah, that's a off the team. Yeah. It's really all about managing your time, like, in anything you do in high school. Yeah. Stay focused. Stay with right. distractions. And that's about the suspension thing, that's another thing about with Kennedy said, I think, about your friend groups and who you choose to be around. Because you could be the best player and really smart, but like if your friend group is really getting you in so much trouble, definitely, that's not gonna help you in the long run at all. I've right. yeah, I've seen kids coming in as freshmen with like a mindset of like I'm gonna get straight A's, play my sports, get it like go to college, do whatever, but they get into the wrong crowd and that mm -hmm. just like completely changed. But right. then I've also seen kids that come in with like the mindset of not really caring about their grades and stuff like that. But then they get into a good group, and then you see them change completely yeah, too. So right. it goes both ways. So your crowd definitely matters. And some people are like scared to just on the topic of like sports in school. Some people are scared to do sports because they think like it'll take away like their social life and like school time. It's really I feel like anyone can do anything they want to do in high school. It's literally just about managing your time and realizing what comes like what comes first and what's most important. Which friends with those sports. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. Especially if you're a freshman and like you make friends with seniors yes. and like upper class, yeah, like it's, it's good work. having somebody that took that class before that passed it, so you can mm -hmm. refer to them. Yeah. Yes. So I think being in sports and all that stuff is yeah. really important. I know I I moved here two years ago, so what got me to like have a lot of friends was soccer. Soccer definitely like met me, let, allowed me to introduce myself to a lot of new kids, a lot yeah. of the seniors, and the seniors really, like, I feel like having older friends really guides you, mm -hmm. and you can like look up to them and they'll help you out too. Right. Yeah, and your team, like if you play a sport, the, your team definitely looks out for you in school too, definitely. so that's always nice to have. Yeah. Well, we're all out of time. Thank you all for joining me on this episode of Chat Cafe. Stay tuned for our next show and follow us on social media. Get him.